New York Jets began as the titans of the AFL. In New York, you have the Giants. You don't want to come in as the upstart and say you're the titans. Some of the AFL teams you know, were kind of flamboyant, dynamic teams. The Titans uniform, which was a darker blue, it just didn't really work. In 1963, Sonny Werblin bought the team and created a vibrant new identity. He says, we're going to recreate the franchise. We're going to create something that is going to be in a new stadium, Shea Stadium, very near the LaGuardia Airport, the Jets. We got Jets, which rhymed with Mets and would later inspire Nets. We're going to break away from that traditional Giants that you're used to, and we're going to be this new, vibrant look. It was a bright green. It wasn't a muted green or a hunter green. It was a bright green. Sonny Werblin, who was born on St. Patrick's Day, and so green and white were a part of his fabric. And then the image of in Super Bowl III in that white jersey, that was a classic because the Jets proceeded to execute maybe the biggest upset in football history that day. The next decade, the team kept pace with changing styles and colors. We got the redesign of the modern Concord Jets that looked very modern at the time. We went through that about 15 years, and then it was time to go back to the classic Jets. In some ways, I think of the Jets uniform as frozen in time, that that is emblazoned on people's memory, even if you weren't alive then. There is so much history to that color combination of the white and green. Again, it became the jersey that was associated with victory and bringing the New York Jets into the spotlight. Green and white, they're not just colors, they're classic. <laughs>